If you've been around the Bedrock Edition community for a while, chances are you've heard about NPVP. It was the Pocket Edition server that rivaled Lifeboat back then. Nowadays, NPVP goes by the name of Mineville and is one of the featured servers on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Except now, with Galaxite gaining a player base, that makes Mineville the least played featured server on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And in this video, I, alongside my friend Pizzas, join the server to try and figure out why it's the least played featured server. Before the video starts, I would just like to ask that if you watch my content frequently and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, enjoy the video. So, the first thing that Pizzas and I did when we logged into Mineville was trying to get into the same server as each other. That's a fairly standard thing. Except, we had trouble with that. The way that you join other players' lobbies on Mineville wasn't very intuitive at all. Well, it turns out that there's actually no friends list on Mineville. You can't add friends at all. All you can do is just join people's hubs and create parties. Except, we also didn't figure out how to create parties until like halfway through our time playing on Mineville. It really seemed like Mineville was trying to get people to play solo rather than play with their friends, but why? Why would they want that? It's just something that left me wondering whether that was intentional or whether it was just bad design. Either way, once Pizzas and I managed to get into the same lobby, we then tried to figure out what you could do on the server. We went over to the area with the NPCs because that's usually where you would find the games. The first one we clicked on was Pizza Place Missions. Didn't see anything wrong with that, we kinda knew that Mineville was a roleplay server, so you know, that's fine. Turns out the NPC doesn't actually take you anywhere, it just gives you a chest. When you place the chest down and open it up, it explodes and sends pizzas flying everywhere. If you click on one of the pizzas, this happens. Pizza Rank. Enjoying the pizza party? The pizza rank comes with one pizza party a day. An awesome scooter. Unlocks pizza missions 2 through 6. Show me? Oh, it's $15. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 people bought it, do the math quick. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, a lot of money. I mean, I guess that's not that bad. A lot of featured servers do use prominent NPC slots to try and promote a microtransaction on their server. Next up, we tried Prisons. It's a fairly common game mode to find on a lot of servers. It's pretty much just a grinding simulator, and while I don't especially enjoy the game, I wouldn't even be able to play it anyways because you can't even play the game without paying for a Prisons Pass. Wait. If you- wait, uh. do, you, do you see the, like, the area where you try and go to, like, actually mine stuff, right? <gasps> you can't even- <laughs> You can't even go in there! Oh my- Oh my, you should be in my server. This guy, we were both trying to get in and he's just <laughs> looking at me in disappointment. <laughs> utter disappointment. <laughs> at this point, I think you can see where this is going. We then tried Skyblock, but once again, you can't even play the game without buying a pass. Here, however, I want to show you just how much money Mineville is making from Skyblock passes. And more towards just what brings in Oh money. my, wait, look at Premium <laughs> Skyblock Pass. 4,280 mine coins, which is like double the fire truck, so that's gonna be like $30. Oh Look how many people have bought that. Oh my god. Wait. That's just the people that have raided it. Right? Yeah, yes. So it could, it could be double or even triple. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm doing the math here. So like 30 times 7,422. <laughs> You're okay. You make a Am guess I on what. Flip yeah. Are... <laughs> yes. $222,000. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god! And that is just the people that have raided the server. That's just or the this... people that are, it could be double, triple, quadruple. <laughs> that amount isn't counting the other premium pass that you can buy for Skyblock or the other add-ons that you can buy for it. We also tried high school roleplay, but none of the games would fill, and the games that you could seemingly play solo, you had to pay to even access them. I mean, I want to learn how to drive. Driving class? Okay. Talk to me. Racer Kurt. Oh, I gotta... I, to play this, I gotta buy cars. Wait, can't... Oh, no, wait. White car. Can I Can I use this? No. It is already unlocked. Next, talk no to... No way. There's no way. I, I, I can't... Wait, you can't play this game without, like, actually, like, buying access to the class. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this bad, Potato. I, you you can't. I, okay, so we, we've been I've been recording for 13 minutes. We've been trying we to just played. play games. We haven't been able to play games because we're we don't want to spend money on this. <laughs> I think it's fairly evident here that Mineville doesn't have the largest player base because they don't really need one. The fact that they've made multiple millions of dollars off of microtransactions inside of their game that's why they don't care about adding new things. 
<laughs> from what I can that tell. hundred percent explains it. I'm telling you that. A hundred percent. Yes. That is why they're pushing quantity over quality. Absolutely. But I'm sure a question that a lot of you guys have is, can you even play on the server without paying money? They do have a, albeit not very prominent, section called NPVP minigames. A lot of these games are the same ones that they had on the original NPVP server back in the day. At first, when Pizzas and I tried to play some of the NPVP minigames, we didn't know how the party system worked, so we just tried to queue into the games at the same time. This didn't work, however, because it would either put him in a lobby with no players and me in a full lobby, or vice versa. I eventually just decided to play a survival games game on on my own, and by taking a guess at what the likely device that most Mindville players play on, you can kind of figure out how the game went. <clears throat> no one else in the game has put on armor so far, so I've just been two-shotting everyone. Wait, here's an actual person, I think. I'm gonna win this fight because he's very clearly on mobile, but... Just, like, out of the seven possible kills available in that game, I got six of them, and none of the kills took more than three hits with my diamond sword. I'm really not sure which I would rather play. Lifeboat Battle Royale or Mindville Survival Games. After the SG game, we actually ended up figuring out how parties work. You just have to punch the other player that you want to invite to a party, like on Galaxite. Except, this wasn't explained anywhere, and this seems to be the only way that you can invite people to parties consistently. Oh cool, now we're in a party and can get into the same games. Now all we have to do is wait for a game to fill up. So, what does this actually mean for Mineville? For a lot of the games on Mineville, you have to pay to even play them. And as for the free games, well, I think I said it best in my recording with pizzas. For a person who doesn't want to spend the sorbent amounts of money, I would suggest going and playing on maybe another server that has a lot of the <laughs> same mini games. Like, uh. e even if like you don't want to play on Hive because there's a bunch of sweats, like. You could still play similar games on like Cubecraft, which has a lot of games, or Mindplex, which which has a lot of the similar games. Like I, I don't see. Mm -hmm. To be fair, Potato, I think people uh, have already made up their mind and are actually oh, I, doing yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I'm yeah. not trying to insult, but yeah. Every, I would say, halfway decent at least server has eight times the player count. <laughs> yep, true, true. Now, do I think that this actually makes Mineville a bad server? Not at all. They seem to have a business model that actually works and seems to keep them afloat. It also seems like they have a core group of players that come back because the server has what they want. While I probably wouldn't have fun on the server because it seems to be mostly roleplay, that is what a lot of players like to play, and not really any other featured servers or well-known servers for that matter have that. And even though you have to pay for a lot of things on Mineville, that's the price to pay, I guess, for a server that you do enjoy. And that's my guess to why Mindville retains their player base at all. They have what their players want. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Before we end, I would just like to go ask you guys to check out my friend Pizzas. He's one of my favorite content creators in the Bedrock Edition community, and if you like my videos, I almost guarantee and would probably bet money that you would like his. Seriously, go check him out, he's awesome. I would also like to give a huge shout out to my channel members. They support me for $4.99 a month, and their names are displayed up on screen right here. They also get some other cool perks which you can see by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button or there's also a link in the description if you don't see that button. Thank you guys again for all of the support. I'd also like to thank everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate all the support and if you enjoyed it, leaving a like and subscribing is probably the best way to support me for free. And I'd appreciate if you would do those things if you enjoyed the video. Thank you all again for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.